Breaking tonight, a Republican celebration in Florida that extends well beyond the Sunshine State as what is widely viewed as the first real test for Obamacare at the polls appears to spell trouble for Democrats in 2014. Welcome to The Kelly File, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. A short time ago, news breaking that Republican David Jolly has defeated Democrat Alex Sink in a special election for Florida's 13th congressional district. This is a district President Obama won in 2012 and 2008, a race in which the vice president and former President Bill Clinton both made pitches for the Democrat, and one in which the Democratic candidate outspent the Republican on TV ads by a margin of almost four to one. It was being watched very closely by both sides, and Larry Sabato rated it leans Democratic. Larry Sabato was wrong. Now in a Kelly File exclusive, the winner joins me live, David Jolly, a Republican and Florida Congressman-elect. Sir, great to see you. Congratulations on your win. Your thoughts? Well, thank you, Megan. I'm glad Larry Sabato was wrong. <laughs> Listen, this is a great night for us in Pinellas County for the voters here. Uh, but you did mention the president's health care plan, and we know that represents a view of government that is of great concern to people across this country. And it's true right here in this community as well. The president's health care plan has hurt the people in this county, and a number of people came out to the polls today to express that concern to the president and the Congress. How big a factor was that? I just want to give the viewers a, a flavor for what we've heard. Uh, the, the Democrats have come out and said the Republicans, you, the Republicans in this race, underperformed because your message, repeal the Obamacare, is out of touch. And then the Republicans came out and said one of Nancy Pelosi's most prized candidates, Alex Sink, was brought down because of her unwavering support for Obamacare. Both sides agree this election was about Obamacare, but your thoughts on the Democrats' take on it? Well, I would challenge that a little bit. This was a local race. I know the national pundits will draw from it what they want. I think we saw some message testing by the national parties, particularly by the Democrats, as their candidates' message on Obamacare kind of evolved throughout the campaign. Uh, but this is more than about Obamacare. Listen, we can fix health care coverage issues uh, with specific solutions. We didn't need Obamacare. What this represents, the concern about Obamacare, is a view of government that has more government in our lives, more government in our businesses. It cripples the economy. It hurts employment. Uh, there's an individual mandate that people cannot embrace as a view of government that they think is right for the future of our country. So yes, Obamacare was an issue. The voters made it an issue. Uh, but at the end of the day, Obamacare just represents a view of government that is put forward by this president, and I think many people reject. The other side says, you know, tonight, this is really no big deal. Nancy Pelosi came out and said, the Democrats knew this would be an uphill battle in a district represented by a Republican for the last 58 years. So for those who say, you know, this, is, this spells trouble for Democrats, as we suggested uh, some are saying in the lead. She says, it. no, it doesn't. Well, I think my new colleague, Nancy Pelosi, might be engaging in some spin control this evening. <laughs> I, I, will, I will tell you this. I, Megan, I will tell you this. We can't draw a mandate from this race. This was a very closely... Uh, run race. And I don't know the final percentages, but uh, this was not an overwhelming victory. What is important, though, uh, is that a Republican in a district that President Obama had won twice, a first-time candidate going up against a hand-picked candidate from out of town, picked by the National Party, the National Democrats, with all of the money behind her from the very beginning. They were wrong with their message. They were wrong on the issues. The reason why we won this race it's because we stood on issues and for a message that is right for our community and right for the future of our country. Are you going to run again in November? This was, a, this was a special election. You don't get to hold the heat the seat for that long. Are you going to run again? Uh, Megan, I hate that question tonight. The truth is, yes, our re-election effort starts tomorrow, and I need the help of everybody. Listen, we, the one benefit of this being a national race is we had people log on to our website, davidjolly.com, from all across the country to come out and support us. And we're going to need that going forward. This will be just as close of a race in November. This is no easier in November. Uh, the only difference is our local community will be spared $10 million in negative commercials come November. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks for being here. Thank you here. very much, Megan. Thank you. I appreciate All it. Thank best. you. So did you see how I resisted asking him if he was feeling jolly? I mean, I think I, think I should, I get some, right, some points for that? No, I don't. Anyway, what does this mean then for the Democrats who have been very nervously looking at